Welcome to week one of the Diabetes Reversal video series. All you need to do is follow the plan. Hello, Dr. Joe here of the AskDrJoe.org and the 2020from.com. So here's the thing. Too many people have got insulin resistance and of course type 2 diabetes with pre-diabetes sandwiched in the middle. And I am here to help. Uh, you know, I have decided that I'm going to do a series of videos over the next six weeks or so where I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide every week on what you should do to reverse your type 2 diabetes. And of course, that means you're reversing your insulin resistance as well. So you better stay tuned and uh, come back every week uh, where there's going to be a new video and a new week where I'm going to give you what to do that very week. So it promises to be exciting and uh, I will suggest you try not to get distracted by other shiny objects that are being displayed on YouTube and the entire internet. So um, if you focus on what I'm going to be sharing with you, you will win, okay? You will reverse your type 2 diabetes and your insulin resistance because it is evidence-based. It has worked for me and it has worked for other people on whom I applied the same principles, the same strategies. So please pay attention, do not get distracted. Come back next week and the week after. I'm gonna do that for the next six weeks. And my plan is that you get your life back on track by giving diabetes the boot. And how do you do that? Well, you start off with week one. So what are we gonna be doing in week one? Let's get started then. Right, your journey to reverse your type 2 diabetes has just started. And I'm hoping that it's going to be an exciting ride. So please strap up and uh, hopefully you will enjoy the journey. You will enjoy the process. So this escalator model represents a reversal journey, a diabetes reversal journey. This escalator is going to be taking us right to the top where our health belongs. We need to reverse our type 2 diabetes such that we get rid of diabetes out of our lives completely. And how are we going to do that? Well, the process begins in week one. So what are we going to be doing in week one? I'm going to keep it simple. In week one, we are going to be adding. We are not going to be subtracting. We are going to be adding. We are not going to be taking away. So keep doing whatever you're doing. However, we need to add something. Okay. And a lot of what we're going to add so far will be foods because foods play a huge role in the reversal of your type 2 diabetes. So what foods are we going to be adding? Well, we are going to be eating a diet that is dominated by plants like the ones you see in there we are going to be eating a diet that is dominated by plants it's not going to be 100 percent plants however it's going to be made up of 90 percent plants okay so this is why it is so exciting and uh, what else we're going to do well we're going to be eating a diet that is rich in color if you remember in your physics uh, the white color has a spectrum of colors uh, with the acronym ROIG beef so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and then violet. So all the colors are going to be represented in the type of diet that we're going to be consuming to reverse our type 2 diabetes. So what type of diet is that? Well, we're going to kick off in week one by eating a diet that is rich in non-starchy vegetables let me repeat that we're going to be eating a diet that is rich in non-starchy vegetables in week one remember we are adding okay so we want to add non-starchy vegetables in week one and that means we're going to be eating uh, lots of leafy greens so examples would be things like collard greens so we're going to eat plenty of collard greens we're going to be eating kale okay and uh, plenty of kale, like I've said here, eat a colander full, okay? Eat a colander full of the kale. Eat a colander full of the colored greens. 
This is how you reverse type 2 diabetes, okay? Plenty of leafy greens uh, for a start. In week one, we are adding. Remember, we are adding. We're also going to be adding non-starchy vegetables like broccoli, okay? Broccoli is low energy food because one of the things we want to achieve as well is we want to reduce our visceral fat percentage. So to reduce our visceral fat percentage, you need to be eating foods that are low energy, low calorie foods like broccoli, the kale, uh, the colored greens, okay? And also cauliflower. We need to add cauliflower in week one. Non-starchy vegetables. That's the emphasis. Remember that in week one. Non-starchy vegetables, cauliflower. What else? We're going to add. Well, non-starchy vegetables like eggplant, also called aubergine also a low energy food that is also low in FODMAP so uh, if you're having IBS issues this is one food to go for eggplant uh, also called aubergine what else are going to add well we're going to be adding zucchini courgette okay zucchini we want to eat non-starchy vegetables like zucchini okay just like we added eggplant cauliflower broccoli kale colored greens we are going to be adding zucchini as well and as well as cucumbers okay you cannot get more low energy than cucumbers so cucumbers is another non-starchy vegetable that we are going to be adding to our diet in week one okay so what else we're going to do in week one what i've said here we are going to leave out the fruits in week one okay so leave out the fruits we're going to eat them later on but not now why is that well it's because fruits can be challenging in week one so we still want to leave out the fruits in week one we don't want too much of a challenge for our pancreas remember we are adding non starchy vegetables there's a reason for that i've got a nice rationale for why we are sticking to non starchy vegetables in week one so fruits are going to be quite challenging so we're going to leave out the fruits in week one so please for week one shop here this is where you want to be seen shopping the vegetables market so uh we want to keep it simple uh like i've said here let's keep it simple please that is how we are going to reverse our type 2 diabetes we'll take it one step at a time and uh, we are going to win in the end okay so there you go uh, the most important thing you want to note in this week one task is that we want to just use non-starchy vegetables which are above ground vegetables okay that's the thing that we want to include in our diet remember in week one we are adding we're not taking away okay so we will see what happens in week two so hopefully everything is clear to you um, what I've done here in week one. Um, like I said before at the beginning of the video, we've got more weeks to follow. So let's just stick with the task for week one first of all. Let's do that. Let's add. Let's not take away. And then um, we'll see what happens in the subsequent weeks. Obviously next week is going to be week two. So uh, you better pay attention and be here uh, to watch the week two so um hopefully you really got some value from this very video by the way if you haven't been to askdrjoe.org which is my new platform where you can ask questions uh please go ahead and subscribe over there so hopefully you got some value from this very video if you did please give the video a thumbs up please like the video and also please share this video with anyone who is diabetic that you know anyone who's got insulin resistance that you know um, share it to them uh, because they need to know and uh, let them be aware that there are future videos coming up so if you got any comments any questions go ahead and leave them down below um, I think that's about it for this very video until next time well this is Dr. Joe signing out